Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here with some more Age of Sigmar combat cards. In this video we'll be looking at the Skaven faction. And Skaven have a whole lot of really amazing models. Games Workshop has not really wanted to update a lot of them. A lot of them are super old but still look decent. Although there are a couple really ugly models which I avoided using for any of these cards. But anyway, let's start off looking at the Warlords. On the left side is Thankful. Uh, with his little friend Bone Ripper there. Uh, this is a tier 3 hero. Pretty powerful stats, very powerful uh, ranged attack uh, with 4 attacks at 6 strength. Uh, his special rule, Power Behind the Throne, only has a 50% chance of activating each turn. Uh, you roll a dice and on a 4 plus you can repeat the effects of one trait on one of your deployed cards. So it can be potentially very strong um, it might be a little confusing how it actually interacts with certain traits, but uh, in my mind it would work with pretty much every trait except for a few like poison because you can't poison the same card twice and uh, Endless because respawning a card that's still alive doesn't make sense, but pretty much anything else it would just Basically double the effects of that trait so it could be very strong in the middle. We've got Ikid Claw who is an arch warlock uh, he has a melee attack himself, but he buffs all of the ranged units in your deck with his special rule, Deranged Inventor, giving them plus one strength. On the right side is Nurglich, a Plague Lord, who has a pretty weak stats for a tier 2 card, but he is consistent in that he deals one damage at the end of every turn to the lowest health enemy. So he plays a game of attrition. Now to move on to the bodyguards. With uh, some of these tier 1 infantry units on the left side is the Plague Sensor Bearer. Uh, this is a squishy unit, but kind of a glass cannon with 4 attacks at 4 strength and furious charge. Can potentially deal a lot of damage before it dies. In the center lane we've got the Clan Rat, uh, which has Endless. When it dies it comes back to play with 2 health so we can hold down a lane for a little bit. On the right side we've got the Gutter Runner, uh, which has 4 attacks at 3 strength and stealth, so it's minus 1 uh, to hit by all attacks, so even if it's getting targeted by you know, cards from different lanes, those attacks will also uh, get just a minus 1 to hit modifier against this guy. Some more tier, tier 1 units here. Uh, we've got the Warlock Bombardier on the left side. It has a ranged attack uh, with three attack dice at strength four, and it's got armor piercing. So again, a plus one hit against targets with five or more armor. In the center lane is the Storm Vermin. This is a tier one card with taunt, so it's just able to protect your other more valuable cards. And on the right side is the Master Molder, which is a healer. Moving on to some of the tier two units, we've got the Rat Ogre on the left side. Uh, pretty straightforward Berserker, uh, can get up to 9 strength potentially. And in the center lane we've got a Warp Fire Thrower, which also has armor piercing. Now a lot of the Skaven units, uh, at least in this game, have relatively low defense. Uh, they're pretty squishy, not too tough, uh, but they have the potential to deal a whole lot of damage, as you will uh, see. So like the Warp Fire Thrower is a pretty good example of that. Uh, combined with Ikid Claw, uh, that's 6 strength, so quite powerful. Uh, on the right side, the Rat Swarm, uh, which has a lot of health for a tier 1 card, but only 2 armor, and it also has Endless, so it comes back to play with 3 health after it dies. And then we've got the Acolyte, uh, one of many poison, poisonous cards uh, in the Skaven roster. Uh, the thing has a ranged attack, and it's got four attacks at strength three, so not too powerful. Pretty squishy, only two armor, uh, but again, poison is a pretty strong trait, especially if you can poison multiple cards, which this one can potentially do. In the center lane, we've got the Storm Fiend. This is the first tier three card we're seeing here, tier three bodyguard. Uh, it's pretty tough, and it's got five attacks and at strength four. And it's got Barrage, so every time you roll a 6 when attacking it deals 1 damage to a card in an adjacent lane. So it could potentially 
have a really devastating attack. Uh, on the right side is the Rattling Gun team, which is basically just a weaker version of the Storm Fiend. Uh, still got five attacks, so it can deal a lot of damage, but it's uh, pretty, pretty squishy. Uh, next up, we've got some of the big war machines. On the left is the Doom Wheel, uh, which is one of the few, few tier two cards that has the trample trait. So any excess damage gets passed along uh, whenever it destroys an enemy. In the center, we've got the Warp Lightning Cannon, uh, which is tier three. It is it has pretty low armor again, but a very powerful attack with uh, armor piercing. So it's basically able to get a 2 plus to hit against almost anything. On the right side is the Plague Claw Catapult, uh, which has a pretty low strength attack but 5 attacks and poison. It also has range 3, so that means it uh, prioritizes the lanes that are further away. And again, you could potentially poison cards in multiple lanes with this. Next up we got the Vermin Lord, a tier 3 warrior. Uh, this thing is quite strong and it's got Inspire, allowing you to re-roll one failed attack. If you want a cheaper source of Inspire, you can go with the Claw Lord, which is a, just a tier 2 unit. And then on the right side we've got the Wind Launcher. Uh, this is a Mortar, so it's got 3 range and relatively weak attack, but again, Poison. So yeah, we're seeing a lot of Poison cards here, so you could, you could potentially poison all of your opponent's cards uh, at the same time if you run enough of those guys. Yet another poison card, the Death Master. This one is melee uh, with 5 strength 3 attacks. And in the center we've got the Hell Pit Abomination. Uh, this is a pretty beastly melee tank uh, with regeneration, healing 1 health on a 2 plus at the end of each turn. On the right side is the Grey Seer, a tier 2 wizard with arcane blast and actually a decently powerful attack. And that is it for the Skaven. So lots of fun cards here. Uh, let me know which ones are your favorite and if you have any concerns over any of them. And again, if you were to play the game, what kind of combo do you think would work best with the Skaven? But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.